Today's actions were part of a nationwide day of protesting organized by a group called Act for America. They call themselves the NRA of National Security. Their organized marches were met with hundreds of counter protests across the country. In Seattle, the marches took over the streets. At least one man was pepper sprayed by police, saying it happened when he stepped in to protect pro-Muslim demonstrators that were being assaulted. In San Bernardino, police ordered crowds to disperse at their anti-Sharia law protest and counter protests. The scene not far from the site of the terrorist attack back in 2015. And in Roseville, we saw at least one man being detained by police as they try to keep the peace. ABC 10's Giacomo Luca was there. He has an update on how those protests in our area went. Out here in Roseville, there's uh, three distinct groups of demonstrators here today. One for anti-Sharia law, an anti-protest group that's across the way. They are calling themselves anti-fascists. And then another group that said that they're demonstrating here for unity. The people united! Separated by a few hundred feet of pavement, a constant flow of traffic, and police officers in riot gear. Three groups on three corners in Roseville couldn't be more divided. Demonstrators with this group, some draped in American flags, are denouncing Sharia law, the religious law of the Islamic faith. Radical Islamic terrorism, as Donald Trump states, is not welcome in America. Do Muslims have a place in this country? I don't know. At this point, not a, no, I don't think they do. They're not assimilating. These people are, these people are bringing down the country. And it's, it's hideous. And I'm a true patriot, and I'm with all these people who are true patriots. And across the street, just as many anti-protesters. Some wearing masks over their faces. They say they're with Antifa or anti fascist protesters. Stand up, fight back! Both groups shouted back and forth, and neither seeming to listen to the other. They're really about hate, and I think they're using their demonstration and using the um, guise of being against Sharia law as a way to get people involved in their side. Kill the infidels! Kill the Kaffirs! I stand against that! And despite police and riot gear keeping anyone from crossing to the other side, some got through, causing some tense moments. Hey, knock off! Stop! Police say some brought weapons, but officers were able to weed them out before anyone got hurt. And a third group, with many dressed in bright white, were spreading the message of unity and love to all. We're, we're for peace. We're not for violence ever, ever, ever. We're here to speak the truth with, with good words, peaceful words, calm words. So I just came out to show my support for the Muslim community and to say, we're glad you're here, we want you here. In Roseville, Giacomo Luca, ABC 10 News. And we looked deeper into the Act for America group on their website. They describe themselves as being the nation's largest nonprofit, nonpartisan grassroots national security organization. Other nonprofits, though, such as the Southern Poverty Law Center, have said Act is, quote, the largest grassroots anti Muslim group in America and that its founder, Bridgette Gabrielle, has repeatedly made statements conflating all Muslims with terrorists.